when they started, I wanted them to compare real world things or buildings to Minecraft and understand scale and proportion. We looked at the Rin Lake uh, clock tower and we decided how many blocks we were going to use. And so I knew I was going to have them model the clock tower right off the bat. Um, I thought it would maybe take them the whole week to do that. Well, we, we just kind of measured it, like how how many blocks wide certain things, certain parts of it were going to be, and how tall. And then we like multiplied it by three, so each block on there was like three by three. And we went over on day one, they took a 11 by 17 paper for field notes, and went over there, took a tape measure, and they immediately started comparing it to Minecraft blocks. And after about 45 minutes of notes and drawing and sketching, we came over and they had the clock tower modeled in an hour. And I think from, from actually looking at it proportion-wise, this is pretty proportional to what our clock tower is. I mean, the height versus the width. They've added some features to it and uh, you know, I let them kind of have free discretion for that. But it's impressive to see these kids using the game to actually understand scale, size, modeling, structure, even material use. Uh, in Minecraft, you can pick different materials. They thought out what materials they were going to use for what portion of the clock tower. It's really hopeful for our future and for the, the kids playing this because it's teaching them to be makers and designers and how to understand how to build things. We have to like, work together with our friends and with people we don't know. We've been up. It, what's fun is like we get to build real life things in Minecraft because like normally I just build something like I didn't I didn't have a base I just build. I think 3D printing is something that they hear about in the media and the news a lot. Even at this young age, they're hearing about it, and I think they thought it was pretty cool. And they come in and check it. And I don't think they realize how long it takes to 3D print. This took 13 hours to print this. Um, they thought we hit print and then come back and it's done, kind of like the replicator off of Star Trek. You know, you, they loaded the, the material cartridge, we unloaded the material, They, I had them help me load the cartridge, insert it, feed the material through the, the print heads, and um, they get that hands-on experience, so that's, that's awesome because high schools are going to start getting these 3D printers, some already have, they're going to come in and remember this time that they, they loaded this and did this and be familiar with the process. So pretty cool stuff. We're building the student center right now. Um, uh, we're almost done. It's it's going pretty good right now. The problem we're having right now is it has a slanted roof. So we uh, just made that slanted roof. Like, yeah, we had a subway in there. We had a we had Villager. villagers in there. We tried to use we tried to use a bucket of water in the in the dispenser for the Pepsi machine, but then we realized in the one of the new updates it actually would dispense the water out and it made a mess. So we're gonna finish the student center. We're gonna do a uh, another physical building project. They built a around a 10 foot tall cup tower that's in the other room right now, and um, we're gonna do another wall building project finish the student center and see where we're at. We have gone to other Minecraft camps before and we thought this one would be fun. This camp is really special because they can take their models and see them in a physical world and 3D print them. This is like the most fun I've had in creative uh, in, at this camp. It's really fun. It's been fun like building in real life and then we build in Minecraft.